Hello and welcome back to All the Mods 10. Today we'll be checking out a big milestone in the mod pack. Uh, but first, let's check out the version that we are on right now. Uh, we are on version 0 0.3, but let's go back by 1 and uh, check out 0 0.29. And 0 0.29 update includes all the modium. It added all the modium, which is a work in progress. And uh, that one adds all the modium, vibranium, and unattainium stuff in it such as the ores, the ingots, the gears, the weapons, the armor, you name it, that stuff. But, but it is a work in progress. And uh, also added is the Bumble Zone Dimension. So that's the dimension of all the B stuff in it. So that would be sticky and fun. Uh, let's see, update all the mods, etc, etc. Alright, so let's go back to, um, let's go forward to 0 0.3, which is which, uh, the version that we're on right now. And uh, they added iron spells and spell books you may notice the little bar right up on my hunger bar yeah that's uh that's responsible for um the iron spells and spell books uh, let's see downgrade at emi because well there's something wrong with it uh, let's see update all the mods etc etc all right so that's all the updates for now but most importantly we're going to be dealing with the aldemodium the vibranium and the unattainium today so let's uh take a look at what we have aldemodium Look at all this fancy, colorful, good stuff right here. Oh, look at that. It's a pickle chart. Uh, so we, we have the aldemonium ingots, we have the vibranium ingots, and the unatanium ingots. So first and foremost, you want to get any of this stuff right now. You need to first get into aldemonium right here, right there. And uh, in order to do that, you need to get the ores, aldemonium ores, right there. There's the ores. And uh, in order to get that, you need to go into the deep, dark biomes. That's right. Uh, in order to get the all the modium ores, you need to go into the deep dark biome and look for it. It's uh, it's not plentiful. It, it's just there. It's just there. And uh, so first of all, once you get the all the modium ingots, you can well, I suppose you can make gears out of it because that is the one out of three tiers of the armors that you can get right now. Uh, once you get the all the modium ingots, so let's take a look at the all the modium chest plate and how you make that. So here's the all the modium chest plate. And uh, in order to make that, you will need the Aldemonium smithing template. We'll talk about that later. Uh, you need the netherite chest plate and the Aldemonium ingots. You put that in the smithing table, and boom, you have Aldemonium chest plate. It's uh, quite similar for all the other e gears. So uh, you can also enchant it with the, uh, what is this from? Iron spells and spell books with some magical properties as well. So that's good. So uh, going up these steps, we have the vibranium, and then we have the unatanium. And of course, they also have their own stuff that requires that requires in order to make that particular gear. So, um, in order to get the Aldemodium ingots, uh, we will need to go to the deep dark biomes, get that ores. And uh, there is another reason why we're getting that. There's another reason why we're getting that, and that is because we need to make something called a teleport pad right there, which is important for getting all the other stuff, all the rest of the other stuff, in order to climb up in the tiers of the um, all the modium gears and armors and all the tools and weapons stuff like that so uh so the teleport pad can take you to the mining dimension which you can get more all the modium ores uh it can take you to the other dimension which you can get the unatanium template and uh here's the tip of me getting the unatanium template Okay, so the teleport pad can also get you into the beyond, which is like a void dimension. I'm guessing there's nothing there, hence the name, beyond, void, something like that. Uh, but there's really nothing to get in there because, well, it's the void. So, yeah, so uh, in order to get the vibranium template, uh, you need to find the bastion and uh, brush away some suspicious soul sand there. So here's a clip of me getting that. Okay, 
Okay, so in order to get the all the Moyum template, you need to go into the ancient city and brush away some suspicious clay in order to get that particular template. Okay, we're on our third ancient city because I didn't see anything on the second one and I didn't want to mine it out and go crazy and waste my time. So I found our one, one the third one, and uh, we know where I came down from. It's from here? It's from here or some crap. All right, let me put down a waystone. Okay, give me that. Ancient city. Uh, five? I don't even know anymore. And uh, let me see. I was looking up clay. And uh, what the heck can I do with it? Because I was trying to figure out if you... Okay, you, you do brush it. Okay, great. Because I thought it was supposed to like still touch or something or the other or whatever. And uh, there are a lot of decorative clays in here. Okay. All right, let's take a look. And see what we have. Oh, we, we got a fancy chest right there. And uh, let me get my boxes. Box it up. Uh, let me see. There's one there. First of all, let me just fly around and take a look. Um, should be close to the center. Keyword should. Okay, there's another one there. Come on. You cannot imagine how many shriekers are in one city. Good thing corporate boxes are cheap. All right, where's the middle? Yeah, that's the middle. All right, here's the basalt. Oh, oh, what's this? That looks like it doesn't belong. All right, let me box up the shriekers first. Oh, hi. There's another one. So what was this? It, it, it just replaces basalt. Okay, great. Oh there's, oh, there's plenty over here. Sheesh. Where were you in the first two cities? All right, all right. Let me just uh, take care of the shriekers first. Uh, are there any nearby? What? Is this one of them? Oh, that's calcite, you little bugger. Alright, I don't see any more shriekers, so let's get our brush and start brushing. Alright, what was it? Okay, there it is. Come on, template. Oh yeah, it's a template. Yeah, all the modium upgrade. Okay, can we duplicate this? Let's see, deep slate, netherite. Yes, you can. Okay, great. We just need one. We just need one. But we're not going to stop there. We're just going to get as many as possible right now. Let me just get rid of this. Okay, there's two. Get rid of that. Okay, yeah, that's three. All right, anything else? Wait a second, wait a second. Aha! All right, there we go. Get rid of that. All right, I think that's all That's all we see. We just need one, really. We're just going to take a quick look, see if there's any more. All right, I think that's it. That's it, really. It just replaces the basalt. And uh, it was pretty close to the middle. Alright, well. That's it, I guess. Alright, let me check out this chest. 
It's just right there. A trap, right? Aha! Uh -huh. Get rid of that. All right, let's go back. So, in order to um meet the Aldemonium gear, you will need the Aldemonium smithing template. In order to make the next one, which is probably Branium, you will need the Vibranium smithing template. And in order to make the final one, which is Unatanium, you will need the Unatanium smithing template. So, yeah, Aldemonium goes to Vibranium and then goes to Unatanium. So that's how it works. So, uh, let's check out the Deep Dark, where you can find all the modium ore. And uh, let's take a look at the map. And of course, if you've been playing before the update, you will need to generate some chunks, some new chunks, and find a different ancient city if you already found one. All right, let's go to this particular village. Now, which one was it again? Uh, I think it was this one? More swords? No, it was this one. I believe it's this one. Yeah, okay. And since we're hopping across dimensions, may uh, I may experience some lag spikes. And there's the ancient city that I mocked off. And it should be down here somewhere. But um, that's the deep dark over there. Let's check out the ancient city first because it's right near where I found the all the ammonium ores. And I made a hole right there, right in the middle of the village somewhere. But where did I dig that hole? Hang on. Maybe it was over here somewhere. Right, let me go back and check. Was it in the middle somewhere? No, okay, let's go over here. Yep, starting to get those lag spikes. Alright, we're gonna have to dig down. Probably a different hole somewhere. I'm not seeing it. All right, large tunnel. Here we go. All right, so this was the deep dark until I did a number on it because I know that all the modium ore isn't plentiful and uh, it could very well be stuck in the walls when I started mining out this place. So that means I use something called destruction gadget. I use the ulti mines, everything that I have under my belt in order to find this stuff. And uh, yeah, I just use the destruction catalyst and just right click, spam it a couple of times, stuff like that. And uh, just to clear out all these blocks in order to uh, find the all the modium ore. Now I know what you're saying. Well, doesn't that destroy the all the modium ore? No, no, it doesn't. Because you cannot mine it with a machine. You cannot mine it with a gadget. You will need to mine it yourself. The player has to mine it away in order for it to uh, in order for you to obtain the all the modium ore. So that means the building gadget. It can very well destroy all these blocks right here. But if there's all the modium ore stuck inside here, it, it will remain. It will not get destroyed. So that's a, that's a very easy way of just clearing away swaths of all these blocks in order to find all the ammonium ore. And look at all this empty space that I mined out. And we're still in the deep dark biome right here. And, uh, and uh, I only found 8 ore blocks, maybe 12. I think it was 12 blocks. So the, yeah, it's not very plentiful, but you only need like a few blocks in order for you to get started. So um, there's that leg spike. Let's go over here, and you may notice there's some kind of remnants of skulks over here. So the only tips that I can give you is just keep using the destruction gadget right here. Make sure your po wireless power is up to snuff so it can recharge every each use because um, every time you do the max destruction, it just takes all the power away from the gadget and it needs to recharge right away for you to reuse it again. So uh, for the ulti mine, it's not really good enough. It only mines like a stack. I mean, you can try. It'll take you a while, but you know you can do it if you want to. You'll probably spend more time doing it, but hell. So the only tips I can give you, just stick close to the deep dark. So you may notice on the mini map, I have the uh, biome tag, like right at the top right there. So uh, just make sure you stick to that deep dark. Don't go too high because if you go too, if you go high, that means you'll um, go into the uh, the top of the biome and the deep dark's actually under that. So just stay low and uh, stick to the sculpt walls if you can. And another tip I can give you is that it is exposed to air, the all ammonium ore. 
uh, is exposed to air. So uh, if you turn off your night vision, it should glow in the dark. Maybe, maybe. So uh, that's uh, that's how you can find it a little bit easier. So just stick to the skull, stick to the deep dark. You'll find it eventually. You'll, it'll probably be good about like two or three orb blocks, and you'll be good. Because in order to make the teleport pad, you need nuggets. You need four all demonium nuggets in order to make one teleport pad, and that should give you uh, that should get you into the mining dimension from the overworld. And uh, so you can look for some more all demonium ore. All right. So um, let's see what else. All right. So this is the deep dark. Uh, stick to the skull. Yes. And uh, all right, so let's check out the ancient city. W where was that point again? Right there. Okay, there it is. Go all the way to to the ancient city. And of course, this is another section that I had to mine out. All right, let's see. Mansion. There's the city. Okay, there it is. There's that lag spike. All right, so here is the ancient city. And you may also notice that I ulti mined the hell out of this place, and uh, I didn't find it. I didn't, I didn't find the suspicious clay that I was looking for. Now, we, we are looking for the suspicious, suspicious clay, so we can find the template. Now, which template was that again? Let's see. Uh, ancient city. Right. We need to find the suspicious clay in the ancient city in order to get the Aldemonium template. So you can start uh, converting your netherite gear into Aldemonium gear. That's the first tier of the Aldemonium gears. So um, the tip that I can give you is it should be near the middle, near the portal, or what's left of this portal anyway. But uh, of course, it wasn't here because I didn't know where it was. I was mindlessly mining everything away, and I may have destroyed it. So it is affected by gravity after all. And another tip that I can give you is that uh, it probably replaces the basalt right here, the polished basalt. And uh, it'll stick out like a sore thumb if it does. So um, maybe there's a little gap right here. That's probably where it was. And I just just fell down and it broke. I don't know. But I didn't find it in this particular ancient city. I had to find another ancient city So um, in order to find a suspicious clay. So I can show you on EMI, suspicious clay, right there. And I'll show you what it looks like. It looks like, you know, it looks like a similar to... Uh, a clay block, but it's a slightly different texture, you know. It looks suspicious. It's like a clay block, but it's suspicious looking. So, uh, it acts like the, um, well, it's, it's affected by gravity. It kind of acts like the suspicious sand or, or the suspicious gravel that you find in vanilla Minecraft. And you just brush it away, and out pops the Aldemonium template. And, uh, what does this Aldemonium template look like? Strange. So, what what does the Aldemonium template look like? Well, it looks like this right there, right there. That's what it looks like. The Aldemonium smithing template. You take your brush, and uh, the brush is uh, the vanilla Minecraft brush right here. And uh, if you went to the War Motions in order to find sniffer eggs or whatever, you you this is the brush you use. So yeah, put that away. There we go. All right. So uh, let's see. Ancient city near the middle, replaces basalt, okay. Uh, Alright, so let's check out the Bastion, which is the next Vibranium template, smithing template. And uh, that's where you find the uh, the next one. Let's see, Nether Portal. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we may have to fly away, away. Because I need to get into the new chunks in order to find it. And I already forgot where it was. Ah, there it is. Right there. Alright, we gotta go north. And of course, silly me, I didn't place down a waypoint. And yes, I know, I can use the above the bedrock in order to get there, but, you know. We have waypoints for a reason. Of course, I can just do this. It's a little tricky. If I can do that, Let's see if I can fly right through this wall. Come on, just, just, just do it. Fly through it. Come on, you can do it. All right, I'm moving. Also, feeling the lag spikes. 
avoid the lava. Uh, avoid the lava. Oh, oh dear. Just walked right through that one, didn't I? Oh, 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 uh, uh, I'm not falling, am I? Okay, I'm good, I'm good. Whoa, okay. Alright, where, where was that bastion on the map? Am I even going the right place? Where am I? Okay, it's all the way up there. Alright, here's another wall. There we go. Easy. Who needs to be running on that on the bedrock up there? We can just phase right through the walls. Alright, let's see. Where are we now? Okay, it's to the right. Let's see if we can phase through the wall here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Alright, so I found the Suspicious Soul Sand, that's right, in the nether it's called Suspicious Soul Sand. And uh, that's where, uh, if you find it, you brush that away, and you will find the Vibranium Spithing Template. And uh, this, is the, this is the Treasure Bastion. I haven't confirmed if you can find the Suspicious Soul Sand in the Bastion Remnants, but, uh, but I found it here. I found it in the Treasure version. So, uh, it should be on the bridge somewhere. I found it, I think over here? I think it was over here, or was it over here? You can see it in the clip I showed earlier. So, uh, yeah, it was on bridge. Uh, the first one just fell on the block because I tried to catch it, and it just broke when it fell. So I had to get the second one, and you, you need at least one of those anyway. So uh, once you get one of those, you can just duplicate it easily, and uh, you're done. You're done. Just grab the go, grab the treasure, and get out. So that's all you need to do in the nether, and uh, that is to get the vibranium template. So let's go back. Oh yeah, loading very slowly now. You can hear the PC kicking up. Come on, load. Load. I might have to reload the game now. Yeah, come on. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, we're back. Uh, I may have to reload again when we get in and out of the dimension. In the other dimensions, anyway. Alright, so again, this is the teleport pad, and you need to make those in order to get into the mind dimension, the other dimension, and the beyond, which is just the void dimension. Now, one of the important dimensions that you need to go into in order to progress in the all the modium gears and tools is the other dimension. And, uh, alright, let's place one down. And you need to place one down in the overworld somewhere. So I'm not quite sure where to put it. Maybe I'll put it over here somewhere? Let's see, um... You want to put it here? Yeah, why not? I'll put it over here. And in order to get into the dimension, you just uh, right-click it with an empty hand, I think. So if you place down a teleport pad in the overworld, it should bring you into the mining dimension. So, uh, all right, so let's check it out. Right-click. There we go. All right. This is a mining dimension. We are on Y253. And uh, let's place down a waypoint. Oh, huh. that's interesting. It's just a blank screen. Enter. Well, it's untitled. I want to name it. All right. Uh, mining dimension. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a black screen for me. All right. So this is the mining dimension, and I'll use destruction catalyst. And you know what? Let Let's be a little bit more cleaner about this. And uh, let, let's just uh, mine out a tunnel. A you know, large tunnel. And I'll see one, two, three. We'll start there. Let's see what's under here. Okay, you get your regular ores. 
You got a whole bunch of stone. Which is cool. Let's see, more iron ores, okay. I'll take some. Alright, some coal. What is this? Emeralds. Alright, more coal, more iron, uh, more redstone, okay. Alright, so far I'm only seeing the vanilla ones. Here's diamond ore. I still have my phase on. Let's turn that off for a minute. Alright, there we go. Alright, deep slate. What we have? We have coal, we have iron. Alright, what's this? This is tin, okay. Okay, more redstone. Okay, more coal. What's that? Copper? Alright, oh! We got some nether. Nether quartz ore. Uh, nether rack. That's cool, we have nether stuff in here. Ooh, hello. I'll just be, uh, taking that. Whoops. Okay, what else do we have? We have gold, okay. Alright, um, launch tunnel. All right, well, we have sink and lead. Uh, more tin. Let's see, platinum. Oh, we got endstone. I was expecting that. Uh, we got tin. Uh, we got osmium. Whoops. Not even enough. All right, time to bust out the beast too. All right, and that's it. We're at bedrock. So, um, of course, if you're looking for all the monium ores, you should go up to the deep slate level. It should be all the way up here. And just mine out the... Uh, it should be around the 50s, I think. But that is the nether... That's the uh, nether section. It, it's either in the deep slate... Uh, in the 50s or negative 50s. I'm not sure. I haven't confirmed that yet. But the thing is, if you're looking for all the monium ores in the mining dimension, it's going to be less ores than what you can find in the deep dark biome. So it's in your best interest to go over there and get get the ores over there. So um, if you want, you can use the destruction gadget in order to just mine it all away. Mine it all away. Now, uh, if you... Uh, I mentioned that the all ammonium ores is not affected by the destruction catalyst. Um, I mean diamond uh, destruction gadget or any mining machines or any means of mining it up. So you will have to mine it by hand. So if you just use the destruction gadget like so, it's not going to affect the all the modium ores at all. And it's just going to pop up, and you just mine it by hand. But, of course, we're probably on the wrong level. So, we'll go all the way down here. Let's see, this is the bottom of the slate. So, let's uh, see if we can find some of it. And uh, can I turn on the chunk levels or something like that? What was it, F12? Was it F12? I don't have an overlay for that. All right, so it might take you a while in order to find some of it because it is it is spawning less. It's spawning less, but you'll know it when you see it. You know it when you see it. So I can show you in here all the modium. Um, right there, there it is. All the modium ores. There is a stone version, and there's also a slate version as well. So hey, maybe it is up here somewhere. Who knows? So uh, it looks like that. It kind of looks like gold, you know. And it kind of also looks like uranium. So, uh, yeah, good luck finding that. And remember, you only need like a handful of it. Just like one or two in order to get you started. And uh, once you get started, I will tell you how you can get get even more all the modium. And uh, no, it's not the beast. So, let's get out of here.
All right. I don't think we're lagging. All right, cool. So in order to use the teleport pad to get to the other dimension, you need to place one down in the nether and then teleport from the nether to the other dimension. So since I already have a waystone there, I don't need to show you that. But uh, if I go to the nether and then I go to the other dimension, then it's going to lag hard again. So I'm just going to go straight to the other and hope for the best. All right, there it is, the other. And I uh, know you, you do not need to make two. Uh, one to go and one to return because once you use the teleport pad to get to the other dimension, uh, another pad spawns in the other dimension for your return trip. So I'm not quite sure where the other one was. Here it goes. It kind of spawned in the ceiling here with the pad all the way up here. So just place down a waystone and you're good to go. All right, so uh, this is the other. Um, I never seen the other before, and I thought that the other is going to be some kind of like cave dimension, kind of like the bug dimension or the nether dimension, where the ceiling is kind of like bedrock, something like that. But it's not. It's not because there there is like a top top part to this thing with the sky. So first of all, let me just put some stuff away. What the heck is this? Sulfur. Oh, fancy. All right, there we go. We're going to need to gear up because the other dimension means business. So we'll get a bow here. We'll get some arrows. And uh, let's see, we have the destruction thing. We'll get some golden apples. That's right, golden apples. This dimension means business. That right there. All right, so um, there are a couple of points of interest on the map. I have found some kind of hidden village underground. which should be up here. This is the quote-unquote village, but of course, they, they keep all sorts of monsters here. And uh, I guess the monsters kind of rule the place, and the village is like trapped in cages or whatever. So uh, this is the place you want to avoid because it has like a couple of illusionists and vindicators or or whatever, whatever that mob that spawns all the vexes. So you might want to avoid that. So use the mining gadget, just mine the ceiling away, and just get to the surface. Uh, let's see, where is that hole? If I can see where the hole is, there's the lag spike. All right, time time to make another hole. All right, here we go. We're at the surface with all these funky looking trees. And uh, if you take a look at the map, there are a couple of points of interest that you can visit. And uh, here are here is one. Uh, kind of looks like four towers and uh here is the other one where where is it uh you probably can't see it well anymore because i kind of mind the heck out of it but you see this kind of faded square looking thing that's a pyramid right there or it was a pyramid so uh kind of mind through all of these pyramids over here just looking for the template and no you do not go to the you do not go to the pyramids in order to find it and uh all right so First of all, let's go visit a pyramid. So let's, uh, where's, where are we on the map? Okay, is that a pyramid right there? I can't tell anymore. All right, uh, let's go that way. Now you may want to gear up the best you can when you get here, because if you're looking for the smithing templates, obviously you're going to be rocking like, I don't know, netherite gear or uh, tools, weapons, stuff like that. Uh, you may very well still be on diamond, or you may be still wearing the Just Dire Things armor and the weapons like I am. So uh, I came here with those particular gears. I didn't I didn't have the Aldebodium sword in the beginning. Alright, are we there yet? Let's get some lag spikes now. Uh, Alright, what is this one right here? Is that one of them? I think I missed it. All right, yeah, that's one. Of, that's one of the uh, the towers. This is the four towers place, and uh, you may notice that I kind of mind the heck out of it. And uh, below that is where you need to go. Below that is where you need to go. But first, before we do that, we need to check out a pyramid. And uh, you better get geared up because it's like the Nether with all these blazes spawning everywhere, and the gas, and the piglins, and a whole bunch of other mean mobs. All right, let's see. Um. There should be one over here, I think. Alright, let's check that one out.
What is this? Oh, that's a cloud. Jeez. The clouds can obscure your vision, because it's just not dark enough in this in this world. I don't see Jay. Yeah, that's not it, is it? All right, let's go north. All right, there it is. There's the pyramid, or what's left of it. It used to be a little bit prettier, but, you know, I mined it away my, with my uh, destruction catalyst. And, uh, of course, these particular blocks right here, this is the ancient stone bricks and ancient blocks or whatever. And uh, what is this? Ancient cracked stone bricks. You cannot break these. Not not even with the not even with the destruction gadget. You cannot break these things. Look at that. You just can't break it. But you can break everything else. And it's in your best interest to just break the entire floor away. And all, all the all the blocks in here that you can get your hands on, in order to make it a little bit easier, because these pyramids are filled with so many spawners that you'll probably have a little bit bit of trouble just to uh, get through this pyramid in order to find some treasure. And uh, I've been through about eight, twelve. I don't know how many pyramids that I've been through, just looking for the smithing template. And uh, th these particular vanilla chests are empty, by the way. You need to look for the looter chest, which is right here. And then you can find a bunch of loot in here. You can grab the diamonds, emeralds, but you know, you should already have those with, with the bees and what whatnot. Uh, enchantment stuff, I mean, you can get those if you want to. If you have storage space, that is, then you can get those. But most importantly, you can get the all the modium ingots out of these things. So that's how you get more all the modium stuff. Uh, it usually has the nugget forms, and uh, it also has the vibraniums, which is right there. The vibranium nuggets, they, they usually hold a whole bunch of that. So, uh, the pyramid is not where you want to go. It's not where you want to go. I mean, uh, th there are a bunch of other chests up here as well. With a whole bunch of spawners. You can see that uh, I missed a couple of spawners right there. I didn't really care to mine that up. Here's some vibranium nuggets that I didn't care to grab. Uh, a whole bunch of spawners that I've broken in the process. But yeah, that's uh, those are the pyramids. If you want to visit it, fine. But this is not where you need to find a smithing template. As far as I know anyway, I didn't find anything. So uh, let's go back to this um, dungeon over here that I named the Stupid Dungeon. And uh, you'll, you'll know why I called it that in a little bit. And there's another lag spike. All right, here we are. Uh, this is the other point of interest on this in this dimension, and this is the four towers. And uh, you, you don't go through that. This is just a four towers of pain. There are no chests in here. There's no treasure in here. I mean, you can grab the diamond blocks if you want to, but really, you're looking for something bigger. So what you need to do is you go below the four towers, and there should be a really big dungeon area for you to play around in. And uh, oh boy, okay. Okay, you asked for it. Well, make more holes. All right, where, where was that point? Where, where where did it go to? Was it? It was down here. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. You hear all the guys in here. Alright, maybe pop a golden apple. Let's uh, take a peek inside. Alright, so it didn't used to look like this. Uh, obviously, this is all ancient brick, so you can't break it. It used to look something like this. Look at that. It's uh, like half a room left with all these spawners in here and these uh, looting chests right there. All these looting chests. This is where you find the smithing template. I found it in a room like this, with all the bookshelves and stuff. But of course, I didn't find it in this particular dungeon. Look at that, there's more- okay, this room's more intact. This is what we like to call the library room, right here. And uh, you just look inside these chests, see if you find the template. Maybe I'll find one in here, who knows, because I haven't looked in here. No? No template? Okay, great. That's- that's what you want to see. That's what you want to see. And hey, remember all those golden apples I told you to bring? Yeah, this is why. This is why. 
This is another dungeon of pain. It's not a dungeon of pain. This is filled with a whole bunch of vindicators, a whole bunch of illusionists. Well, not that ma many illusionists. Uh, filled with a lot of wither skellies and uh, skeletons. There are a couple of zombies off the surface. There are blazes spawning outside. And uh, yeah, this this is this is pretty much this is pretty much a barrage of mobs and monsters just thrown at you once you step foot inside the dungeon. Once you step foot inside the dungeon. So good good luck with that. Don't look at that. So what what you want to do is use the destruction catalyst. Just open it. Just open as wide as you can. Just, just mine it all away. Just mine it all away. Just open it up. Just get rid of all those unnecessary blocks that will get in your way when you're going through the dungeon. And uh, of course, remember, just keep popping those gapples. Just keep popping those gapples, and you should be okay. And uh, your priority will be just to break these spawners right here. Just kind of run around the dungeon, just kiting all the mobs away. Just break it. Move on. Just keep moving on. And if it gets too much, just kite him away from the spawner. Come back. And and just uh and just uh look for these chests, you know, just quickly take a look. Just quickly take a look to see if you see the template. If you don't, just run away. Just run to the next room, run to the next hallway, and repeat. And repeat. And if you see any vanilla blocks or any blocks that you can mine away with the destruction gadget, just do it. Just, just freaking do it. And just open up all the walls like right here. Just open it all up. Because, uh, you know, that's your escape hatch right there. And uh, keep popping those gapples. Just keep popping them. Because you should have golden apples already, right? Right? And uh, with all the all the molium nuggets that you got from the pyramids and uh, all these particular dungeons and stuff like that, you should be able to make the all the molium apples. So that should be a little bit better. Yeah, oh, here's some chests that I didn't even look at. Oh, hey, guys. So, yeah, this is how you do it. I mean, just run around, survive, pop some gapples, and uh, try to break some spawners on the way if you can. And, uh, you know, you don't even have to run through the hallways. You just need to look into that particular room with all the bookshelves in it. That's where I found the smithing template, as you see in the, in the earlier clip. And uh, that, that's what... Uh, that should be where it should spawn. I didn't even look in these. Wait, geez, what? Are there any more down here? I checked those already. And you can tell if, if you look inside a chest or not because uh, it should turn this gray looking color. And uh, if you haven't opened a chest, it should say like, um, well, it always says that. Uh, it should be like a lighter color with the trim on the outside. Like right here. It is the lighter color. And if you open it, it turns gray. And uh, of course, you can't break it. This is important later. All right, here's some stuff that I didn't destroy the destruction destruction gadget. Pop some gapples. All right, get get out of way. Get out of way. Get out of way. It gets way worse than this, trust me. It's way worse than this. And you're thinking, oh, I can fly. Well, that doesn't matter because this is like three blocks high. Escape hatch. Ah, more of this. Okay, great. Well, you're out in the open and you're higher than them. So that's great. That is absolutely fantastic. All right, so since this is the first dungeon and I didn't find anything in here, as far as I know anyway, I can go ahead and show you a couple of tricks here. And uh, one of them is using the destruction gadget. Um, and the other ones is, uh, well, I have the Eclipse Alloy Bow from the Just Dire Things. And even though that I cannot face through the walls myself, because let's turn that on. And uh, we're going to go ahead and try to smash our face inside these walls and try to get through it. Look at that. I can't go through it. I can't go through it. Yeah, it's been blacklisted. So that means I cannot face through these particular walls using that trick. But you know what can face through the wall? That's right, my Eclipse Alloy Bow Arrows. As you can see, none of the arrows stick into the wall because it's going through the wall. So you want to control the mobs a little bit better. You can, you can uh, put the face upgrade onto your Eclipse Bow. There we go. 
And uh, remember to keep popping those gapples if you need it. There we go. Alright, so another trick is, well, since we have the Apothic Enchantment stuff, you can go ahead and get all the max enchantments that you need, such as Protection 7, I think? Uh, 8. It goes up to 8. So get Prot 8 on all your gear. Uh, put whatever enchantments that you feel are necessary, that you need. Maybe not vi Night Vision. Well, Night Vision's already on the Just Dire Things helmet, so you, you probably already have that. Uh, your bow, you know, just put power 9 on it. Uh, your, your sword, just put sharpness... Just put sharpness 9 on it. Uh, put sweeping edge... Sweeping edge 8 of all things on it. You know, that sort of thing. You might want to use smite for all the undead. And uh, you should be good. Now, another trick that you can use to make this dungeon a heck of a lot easier. It's with Destruction Gadget, and uh, yes, I know, you can clear away the blocks and stuff like that. No, that's not the trick. That's not the, that, that's the first trick. But the second trick to using the Destruction ca Gadget is, if you hold Shift and right-click, there's this little button that says Affect Block Entities. So, let me get rid of these guys. Now, of course, the mobs are considered entities, and no, you cannot destroy them with the gadget. As far as I know, anyway. Can I, can I do that? Hold on, let me just try. No, you can't. No, you can't. It has to be an entity block. Now, this is important because the spawners are also entities. You see where I'm going with this? You see where I'm going with this? Look at this. Poof, gone. There goes the spawners. The spawner... The spawners are gone. So, so is that lectern. That lectern's going away. And, uh... You may want to spam it a couple of times everywhere, so you can get all the spawners. And again, you may want to set all the numbers up high in your in your destruction gadgets, so you can you can uh, destroy a bigger area. Now, remember how you can't break the looter chest? Well, good news. Neither can the mining. Neither can the destruction gadget. You, you cannot destroy it with the destruction gadget. So that means all the chests are preserved. For you to look around in. But of course, all the spawners are gonna go away. Are gonna go away. And then once you get all the spawners away, you can go ahead and um, start shooting all those arrows around. Start getting rid of all those mobs because they're not coming back. Because they have no more spawners. They have no more spawners. There's another spawner. Poof, you're gone. You're gone. That's another trick right there. That's the trick right there. Now, of course, if you're going to find the smithing template in the other dimension here, you better go do it. And uh, if you're going to use this trick, you better go do it. Because uh, once, they, once they realize that, hey, th this trick is not fair. Against all my thousands of spawners inside the dungeon, I better nerf that. So if you want to take advantage of this uh, particular trick, you better do it now before they nerf it. So uh, I'm just saying, you know. But, you know, you, you, can, uh, you can choose not to do it. You can just choose not to do it. Just, just go through the dungeon the legit way, you know. Just uh, put on some better gear, go through the dungeon, and, you know, just, just do it the legit way if you want to. Like, uh, if you don't like the cheese, don't, don't, don't put the cheese in it, you know. There's another one. Poof, you're gone. You're gone. Get out of here. Get out of here, spawners. By the way, so some, of the, some of the spawners appear to be pigs. They appear to be pig spawners for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe that that's a mistake. Maybe that's something they, they need to correct as well. You know, just put like a couple of warden spawners now and there. You know, just uh, just for funsies. Just for funsies. And don't forget to uh, eat your gapples. Don't forget to eat your gapples. What's in here? Okay, there's no template in here either. Get out of here. Get, get out of my face. Get out. Get out. Get out. Pop a gapple. Okay, no, no template in there. That's unfortunate. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, there's no spawner. Let's take that one out. Get rid of all this stuff. Get rid of all of it. All of it. All right, where, where's the exit? We should be getting out of here because this is a little bit too tight for my taste. All right.
any any templates in there? No? Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, so there we go. Instead of just running around in this place, breaking the spawners one by one, you just use the destruction gadget, just take out like a whole bunch of it. From afar. From afar, because we know the destruction gadget can like affect blocks from all the way over here, so it is a big place after all. So yeah, that's uh that is the other dimension, and for getting the unattainium template from one of the uh, dungeon chests. I mean, uh, if you don't want to go that deep, you can just check out the library rooms. This is this appears to be a library room, and uh, this is the room with all the bookshelves in it. There it is. There, there's another example right here. So this is like the library room with all the bookshelves around here. You can just check these chests and just move on. You know, it's just uh, if you don't want to bother. If you can't find it initially on the surface, you can just move on to another tower and uh, just look for it that way. Anything in here? Come on, move. Move, move. Right, nothing in there, okay. Figures. Nothing in there. Uh, anything in here? Okay, let's get out of here. Alright, so once you get your smithing templates, and, um, again, go back to this. So, again, uh, you get your Aldemodium in the, let's see, you get the Aldemodium smithing template from the Suspicious Clay in the Ancient Cities, and, uh, you get the Vibranium smithing template from the Suspicious Soul Sand in the Bastion in the Nether, and you get your Unatanium smithing template in the other dimension, in that crazy, crazy dungeon. So once you get that, you can go ahead and make your gears if you can. So again, here's the all the volume chest point. You have your smithing template. You have your netherite gears, all the volume ingots. Get that one, and then from that one, you get your vibranium, and from vibranium, you get the unatanium chest plate. Oh, that's right. We uh we should go to the end and check some things out. Uh, let's go to the end island. Now, uh, since these are old chunks, Unatanium wouldn't be in here, so that means we'll need to go out further away. Let's get out, uh, let's get an Ender Pearl right here. And, uh, where's that portal? Okay, there it is. So we just throw a pearl through that. Go to the Outer Islands, and then, uh, get to all the chunks with all the, um, that's not even loaded yet and uh, spawn some new chunks. I have to go way up here in order to do it. So uh, let's pretend that these are the chunks that we need. And uh, again, you can use your destruction catalyst if you want to do that. You want to mine it all away because just like the Aldemodium ore, it's not affected by the mining gadget. Uh, I mean, a uh, destruction gadget. This is the, okay, yeah. I mean, you can use the mining gadget if you want to. So, um, yeah, you just use Destruction Gadget, just mine like a huge hole away in the end island. I heard that it's uh, in a particular biome or something like that. I heard it's like in the end highlands or mountains or something like that. I I'm not sure which biome, but, you know, you, you can look for it any way you want. Uh, check the map again, and uh, you see these two large holes right there. What, what is this called? Yeah, the end midlands. I was at the end midlands when I found the, uh, the uh, few of the... Unatanium ore. So here's the unatanium ore. Right there. Unatanium ore. That looks like right that. And then when you mine it up, uh it should look like that. Raw unatanium ore. Just get a few of that. Just enough in order to make your armor or your gears or whatnot. And uh at least get uh get a few more just to make one block or maybe two. This cheeky bugger, geez. All the way out here. Ish. All right. So yeah, that, that's uh, how you get the raw unatanium ore, and you go to the end in order to do it. And uh, again, it's not plentiful. You just have to mine like a huge hole, mine out a lot of stuff in order to find it. Okay, so uh, now that you got like your hands on a few of the 
all the modium, the vibranium, and the unattainium. How do you get more? Well, you could uh, go to the mining dimension and just like spend hours upon hours in order to get more. Or you can get into the bees. That's right. We're going to use the bees in order to get more of the all the modium, the vibranium, and the unattainium. So let's take a look at that. First of all, we'll be taking a look at the all the modium bees. So right there, there's a bee for that. And uh, what does it make? Let's press U on that. We'll go here and it makes the all the modium comb. Press U on that. And you get nuggets. Look at that. One comb equals nuggets. And it's at a 10% chance, production chance. So yeah, that's pretty low. You might want to get a few of these and just put all your upgrades in it in order to get, um, get as many of these ingots as you can. So how do you get the all the modium bee? Well, you need to breed the ancient bee and the wither bee. How do you get the ancient bee? Well, you need to right-click a block of netherite on a diamond bee in order to get the ancient bee. So, I mean, you should already have the diamond bee, right? All right, so once you get the ancient bee, uh, time to get the wither bee. So how do you get the wither bee? Well, you need a skeleton bee with the wither rose. You right-click the, um, the skeleton bee with a wither rose to convert it into wither bee. And, uh, of course, these are not breedable. That means you need, need a few of these in order to convert that into wither bee. So how do you get a skeletal bee? Well, you just leave an empty hive out in the darkness. We just uh, go through this. Turn that on. Okay. And uh, you might get a few of these little guys just floating around your beehive. Look at that. You got a skeletal bee. You got a zombie. You got another zombie right there. A zombie, skeletal bee, zombie, skeletal bees. And uh, yeah, these are all empty hives. You don't need to do anything here. You don't need to put your own bees in it or whatever. Just put a sim upgrade and then just let them appear. And just put like a couple of bee cages in here so it'll capture it. So yeah, that's how it is. Uh, just put tinted glass around there and it should work. You, you can also put it in a small little dark area like a cave right there. And uh, oh, hi. There's five more inside a cave. Let's see what we got. We got a skeletal bee, a uh, zombie, skeletal bee. And uh, another skeletal bee. And what is this? Zombie and skeletal bee. All right, so yeah, that's how you get those. And uh, once you get your skeletal bees, you can um, use that. You can use that to make the withered bee. Once you get the withered bee, you can breed that with the ancient bee in order to get your, get your all the modium bee. Now, of course, once you get your all the ammonium B, you also need the vibranium B. And once you get the vibranium B, you can breed the all the ammonium and the vibranium B in order to make the unattainium B. And look at that. You, you need ingots in order to breed these guys. What a... Yeah. You're going to need to get your hands on some initial ores in order to uh, get these bees in the first place. So good luck with that. Good luck with that. So uh, in order to get the vibranium bees, you need to breed the ancient B and the draconic B. And of course, draconic B requires draconic dust in order to start the breeding process. So yeah, that's how you get the bees. Once you do that, you're better off. You are much better off. So uh, of course, since we are on version 0 0.3, uh, they have fixed the ambering issue with the wither. And uh, you can go ahead and release a whole bunch of amber bees near the wither and it will amber it right quick. It will work. So uh, there, there has been an issue uh, after 0 0.24 and before 0.29, where you couldn't amber the wither, and uh, you also couldn't amber the gas. I couldn't do that as well. So maybe it's because of the fly mob. I mean, it's it's on the ground, so I don't know what's going on with that. I, and I don't know what's wrong. But they fixed it, so that's good. That is good. So uh, yeah, that is uh, another episode of getting the all the modium stuff. Getting the all the modium, the vibranium, and the unattainium. So we are that much closer to all the end game stuff. Just look at that. All the modium gear, uh, unattainium gears, all the armors. Uh, look at that. We have um, raw, all the modium ores, which looks like a star. And uh, do, do we have the, uh, the star in here, by the way? No, that's a star fruit. No, that's another star. Oh, there's the ATM star. Is there a recipe for that yet? No, it's not. No, there isn't. It's a work in progress. But we can get the Patrick Star. All right. So, ooh, a starry bee. ATM Star Block. Ah, fancy. That's some endgame stuff right there. Oh, yes, the other dimension. Uh, the Bumble Zone. That's been recently added. 
Uh, how you get there? Well, you just use an ender pearl and just throw it, throw it into a hive or something. Throw it, throw it in a, throw, throw it in front of a heavy hive. I'm not quite sure. I don't know the specifics of um, of getting to the bumble zone. Uh, maybe it has something to do with throwing ender pearl at a nest or a hive. I think it's a hive. I think it's a hive. So once you get there, you find like a whole bunch of bee stuff you can get. I uh, don't know specifics about that either, since I not not uh, dealt with the bumble zone before. But you can go ahead and deal with that. You can just take a look. Couldn't be that bad, right? So yeah, this has been another episode of All the Mods Ten. Uh, I've been Bumble Block, and uh, I'll see you next time.